Hello, Region 12. This is Josh Essery again with another episode of The More You Know. Ready for a fast one from Canva today. So have you ever been in Canva or been trying to distribute something from Canva and always kind of struggled, how do I send this out to people? Do I share it with them? They give them the link. Do I need to print it out? Does it need to export as a PDF? There are lots of options in Canva, but there's one that's really cool that might be up for consideration every now and then. So let's go ahead and take a look at this example right here. This was actually a flyer template that I used and I just made multiple pages of it. When I go up to the share button, we're familiar with some of these options, but if you go down and you click on the more options, you're gonna see more, yes. Uh, but the one we're gonna focus on today is this website function. This is really cool. It turns your entire project and all the pages into a website. It makes the pages of your project other pages of a website. So if we click on this, it'll give us an option for this presentation, scrolling, navigation, and standard. You're welcome to click through any of those and experiment with them, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you what they look like. So let's go ahead and dive in. This one is the presentation form, and you can see down here at the bottom, you can, there's reactions for people to click through if they wanna to react to a slide or something, and it just kind of works like a slide. Uh, you click on the arrows, go back and forth, and you get all of the information as you would. Let's go ahead and go to the next one. So the next one is scrolling. The scrolling one makes it full page. This is what I like about these. The, the, the presentation one's good, but it feels pretty normal. But this one, full screen, it adjusts to whatever screen the person is on, which is lovely. And I can now scroll in between the pages. And it's got that nice little fade into each one. Let's go to the next one. The next one is classic navigation. And I really like these this is where it really turns it into a website. So you can see here, it has taken the headers of my pages and it has made a menu item up here at the top. It looks like a web page. So if I, if I handed this out, which I did, I'd say, if you're interested in the magnification section, just click on magnification and it'll take them to that page with the magnification instructions on it. And then they can always go back to the home page. Once you get to the bottom, it stops just like a regular web page. The last one that you can use is the, that was classic navigation. This one is standard. This one is the standard navigation. And it looks very similar to the one with the one we just saw, but this one, the pages do not stop when you reach the bottom. When you reach the bottom, it automatically goes into the next page in order. So a few things about making this happen for you. When you make these, if you want those menu items at the top, it's important that you title your pages. So you'll see here on mine, it says page one, and it says for the assist, page two is getting started. So I just click that and you can retitle it. If you don't see it and you're using a, a presentation um, and you don't see that little area up there, and what you can do is just go find this little guy right down here that says presenter notes, click on that notes, and then up here is where you can do that page title. So you would do that for each one, if you for whichever ones you want to show up in the navigation bar. Now, for sending this out to somebody, after you've decided which one you like, you click that share button, you decide, remember to click more, and then you click on website. And then once you've decided which type that you like, and you open that website, all you have to do is just come up to the URL, click copy, and then you can send it out however you want to. You can make it a QR code and you can make it a bit.ly. So thanks for joining us on this episode and we hope to catch you on the next episode of The More You Know.